Hi guys, um, quite often get asked to how um, the UCPO works with a straight key and uh, how do you control it? Uh, some people seem to be put off thinking it, it, it's a complicated device and not really suitable if they just want straight key practice. Well, that's wrong. Let me just show you how easy it is to use. First of all, you plug your straight key in as I've got there, just a, my old uh, dusty key. Turn on the UCPO. Uh, that's it. Now, when we tap the key, and that's it. Simple as that. If you just want to use it as a straightforward code practice oscillator, nothing really complicated there at all. If you want to use it as a Morse tutor uh, as well, with just a straight key, very easy. Turn, let's turn it off. Hold the straight key down and turn it on and release. Take about two seconds for it to uh, decide what it wants to do because you can go into a setup mode, which I'll show you in a moment. You can you can alter turn the volume down a little. Sorry, you can alter the um, the, the rate it's going, the words per minute rate. Uh, also, the, the gap. It sends in five figure groups and the gap can go up to, I think it's about three seconds or so. Even longer. Longer gap after the five figures between the words effectively. That's why there was a long gap that time. Okay, I'll we'll reduce that gap now. Take it right the way out. Now, change modes using a straight key. Press and release. Numbers. P for pro signs. M for mixed, that's letters, numbers and pro signs. C in call sign mode, I've got it now set in the with the variable tone option enabled. So sorry, turn it down a little bit. So the pitch and the speed will vary very slightly, 10-15% between each call sign that it's sending to add a little bit more realism. And final mode, contest mode. In contest mode, it basically sends you a call sign, then the traditional 599 uh, report, um, followed by uh, a three or four digit serial number. Interestingly, the serial number will sometimes, not always, it varies it, so you, it, you, you, can't, you don't know what to expect. It'll use cut numbers for the zeros and the nines. Uh, sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. It'll randomly do that. Uh, just again, add a little bit more realism. And you can hear the speed varying as well. And to get back to letters mode, back to beginning again. press the button once and it'll switch back right now turn it off back on again and now we're just back as a straightforward straight key most practice oscillator uh, I said you can change the words per minute rate if you so need to for the tutor very easily let me show you how to do that and you can also 
with a straight key change the fact that that pitch was changing uh, on the the contest mode and the call sign mode if you don't like that option you can um, turn that off as well the way we're going to set up I'll tell you first because when I'm doing it uh, things are timed it can time out um, we press and hold down the key and we turn on the power and we keep the key out down this time uh, you'll start hearing the letter A being sent and if you adjust the the control here the speed knob you'll you'll hear the the speed rate change for the letter A you're then setting the words per minute rate that's used for the tutor you then release the key um, if you just release it it'll go into its uh, tutor mode and use that new speed if you keep the key out down it'll send VT for variable tone uh, when you hear the VT if you release it after a second you'll hear a lower pitch tone about 1k let's say low pitch 1k um, that tells you then that the variable tone option is turned off if you didn't release it when you hear the VT uh, you'll hear a higher pitch tone about 2k which means that it's been turned on so I'll do it now and I'll turn the VT on uh, just so you can see how it's done so first of all we'll set the speed so hold it down turn it on and hold it there for a couple of seconds and there's the letter A now the speed control as you can see we can set it to quite a wide range from about 10 up to mid 30s I'm setting halfway which is about 17 18 words per minute now I'm going to release and then I'll hold it down again there's a VT hold it down wait for the eye pitch and release job done now we'll set the gap back to zero and we're there that's it the tutor's now using that speed that we set and we change mode again as I showed you earlier that's all there is to setting it up very straightforward really very easy I'm going to do another video now showing how to use it using a, a paddle key but uh, in essence it's the same uh, hopefully for people who've uh, asked the question about can it be used with a straight key and how can I use it that should answer your questions but if you do have more questions just drop me an email thank you bye bye